Hi there, it's Scott here, and today I have the pleasure of introducing the latest addition to the Haltec lineup, the UC10 Data Logging Digital Dash. Now I'm sure you've seen our IC7 7 inch dash. Well, this is its 10 inch bigger brother. If you've been looking at the IC7 for a while and you weren't really sure if you could fit all your data on the 7 inch screen, or you're thinking of doing a full cluster replacement, then this is the dash for you. The UC10 seamlessly integrates with Haltech's CAN network, meaning you can plug it in and away you go or you can configure to your heart's content. But what if you don't have a Haltech CAN network? Well, no one's perfect, and that's okay. We also support a wide range of aftermarket engine management systems CAN protocols, as well as factory cars OBD communication networks. Now, if you've got a car that does not have an engine management system, well, that's okay too. The UC10 has user-definable, programmable inputs and outputs that allow you to wire up the dash in a standalone configuration. But these extra inputs and outputs can certainly be used if you're using the dash with an aftermarket ECU or a Haltech ECU. The data that they provide becomes even more valuable when you're using it with a Haltech engine management system. The UC10 has bi-directional communications with the Haltech ECU. It acts as an input-output expander if you were to wire a fuel level sensor or a temperature sensor, for example, into the dash, it gets sent out of the dash over the CAN network for the ECU to see, just like it was connected to the ECU itself. So if you're running short of inputs or outputs on your ECU, it's another great reason to step into a brand new UC10 dash. So now let's take a look at the tech specs on the UC10 dash. It's got a full color, optically bonded TFT screen with a refresh rate of 60 Hertz. It has a resolution of 1280 by 480 and up to 600 lumens of brightness. It's IP64 rated, so that's dust tight and protected against water splashes. It has a six digit odometer, 512 megabytes of onboard data logging that's capable of doing loop logging. It's all programmable via Haltech's NSP software. It's got 10 user configurable analog voltage inputs, each that have an available pull up resistor. It's got four user definable DPOs, digital pulsed outputs, outputs that pull to ground to turn things on and off four user configurable digital inputs, one dedicated TACO input, one dedicated alternator excite output, two ambient light sensors. With this information, the dash can see how bright it is outside, then adjust its backlighting all by itself. The UC10 is compatible with all current Haltech ECUs, so the Platinum Series, the Elite, the Nexus Series, the Rebel, all via CAN. The UC10 is also plug and play compatible with the following aftermarket ECU brands. That means it'll plug into one of these units and pull all the information out to display and data log on the UC10 dash. So once you've ordered your dash and it's been shipped to your door, well, what can you expect? Let's crack the box open and find out. Here we go. Turn this sideways. Welcome to the Haltech family. It's a nice little display on the top there. First and foremost, we have our beautiful dash. Pop that to the side here. We've got our USB communications cable. We've got our CAN communications cable. So this has got a Deutsch DTM connector on both ends. So one end is gonna plug into the harness that goes into the dash. The other end into our engine management system. Sounds like there's lots of good stuff in here. The AMP 34 pin connector with that female Deutsch plug. So that's the one for the CAN communications. A heap of pins for said plug. So if you are gonna be using the extra inputs and outputs, these are the pins that you'll be crimping onto your wiring. You'll be jamming them into here and then away we go. We've got a bunch of buttons. You would have noticed that the UC10 does not have buttons on the front of the screen like its little brother, the IC7 does. Instead of having those buttons straight on the screen, we supplied these two. They're terminated with those pins that go straight into that connector. Then you can decide what to use those buttons for within the UC10, typically for changing screens or clearing alarms, that sort of stuff. You'll notice that the USB connection for the dash is now on the front. 
This makes it nice and easy to get data logs in and out or program it. Sometimes you can't get to the back of the dash, so we've put the communications in the front. Tiny little rubber thing plugs into the front here, just to make it a bit more weather resistant. We've got three mounting screws in here. Something that is interesting to note is the IC7 and the UC10 have the same mounting footprint, the three screws that hold them in. The UC10 is physically a larger dash, but the mounting bracket is exactly the same. So if you've got one of those aluminum brackets on your steering column, you can use the same three bolt to screw a UC10 where an IC7 once was. Next coming out, bit of Haltech merch, another Haltech key rings. We've got a Wi-Fi antenna. So this goes onto the back of the dash. You can program the dash using the Wi-Fi communications network. You can get data logs in and out. You can change configurations in the dash. And that's everything that comes in the box to be able to mount the dash, to configure the dash and plug it into your engine management system and get things up and running. And now all that's left is the exciting part, using the USB cable supplied to connect your dash to your laptop, then opening the NSP software. Once the software opens, you can then explore all the new UC10 layouts and decide which one is appropriate for your project. You can choose a different one for day mode, different one for night mode. You can have the buttons that cycle through all the different screens. It's really up to you to customize the UC10 however you see fit. To make sure you keep up to date with all the latest news from Haltech about the UC10 dash and all of our other projects, make sure to subscribe. If you've got any questions about the UC10 dash, please leave a comment and we'll absolutely get back to you. As always, my name's Scott. Thanks very much for watching.